right, we've come to Ravenscar. We're going down the hill and it's bloody freezing. So, yeah. I don't know, I can't feel it anymore. Looks like a rough sea. So we'll see what we can find when we get down there. There we go. Indeed. As we go down deeper. Through the millennia. No, can't do David Ambra. Yeah, well, we're going to go left first then. I'm going to have a look down here, which is the lower Pliens back in. See if we can find any rare ammonites, which there probably won't be any of, but hypothermia. It's a bit windy. Right, we're down on the beach, very few seals. Makes me wonder where they all are, probably around the corner. It's like an interesting jewel down there. That's already being broken. Just looking along these boulders, the odd nodule thing, but not found anything much yet so far. Uh, a little broken ildi around the corner as you come down, but I've left that. It's uh, a bit too early in the day to be collecting uh, broken ildis. So, yeah, just looking through these rocks, looking for any, anything that might look like it's got keel in or the right shape. Only doing a little bit of this stretch before going on to Raven Scar, so you never know what you might find. There's a little oyster shell in there. Alright, coming the other way now, just looking along uh, for, uh, for nodules. That looks interesting there. What's that nodule? Oh yeah, look at that, Peronoceros. You can see the nodes. Yeah, cool. Another nodule there. Nice result in that, might be worth the tap. So I may have found another one. Is it there or not though? Faint bit of keel. Oh, it's a fit. Oh no. So it was an ammonite. But it's very flat, so we won't bother with that. So, I'm just taking some nodules out of these fallen shale blocks and first ildi. Just about see there. I think it'll be good from that side. Might be a bit of wear on that side, but yeah, nice ildi, ildoceros. Okay, there's a likely looking nodule. See the note in it. Oh, there we go. And there is a the dac wearing away. Pretty good from that side. Going for the bag. Oh, it's very slippy today. So yeah, just looking in the rock pool. Well, the rock pool's in the in between the rocks. See what we can find. Marshall. Oh. Bumped into a little one there. Not usually see seals around this end. Uh, try and stay away, but I found a, a likely nodule. Right there. Nothing showing on it. Let's have a, let's have a look. Oh, I can see some already. Oh, look at that beastie. Mouth border and everything. 
bit, bit crushed, maybe a little bit crushed there, but yeah, that's a, that's a, that's a big one. Yeah, so he's found this uh, this nodule quite fat. Split it on that side and oh look at that! Oh lovely! Uh, looks like a Perinoceros submartum to me. So yeah, lovely split right down to the centre. <laughs> Below. Nice, only small, but um, lovely. Yeah. There's a nodule down there actually, which looks interesting. <laughs> Chisel. Not showing, but we'll give that a tap as well. All right, coming towards the end of the first bit now, and uh, picked a few bits up. It's been a bit blustery and a bit of rain actually, so I've not filmed too much when I've been going along. So yeah, we got a, we got a little duck there poking out. What else we got in the pocket? Ah, lovely, fat perinoceros. The spines on that one. That's uh, that's lovely. Looks like mouth board and everything's there. So yeah, that's nice. And then finally, I've been looking for a while for a decent catacolosaurus. And there we are, I think that's going to be a catacolosaurus looking at the size of that and the ribbing. So yeah, it's all in a nodule which is, uh, which is nice. So look at that lovely, lovely fatty. So yeah, keep on looking and see what we can find. Uh, it's just a nice nodule note in it. But it's my day for fatties today. Oh, look at that. Wow, massive catacolosaurus. It's in a nodule, so I'm guessing it'll have a centre. Wow, just the fatness on these things is amazing. Yeah, good day for Ravenscar today for these. Doing well. Ah, it's a cool bit of sandstone. You can see there's a gastropod there. There's another one there. It's quite cool. Calcite as well. If there's any more in there, yeah, it's like a probably blee white formation. But yeah, gastropods, interesting. Yeah, yeah very nice them. Wow. So I made it over the rocks. There's about oh, 500 meters worth of really big slippy boulders. You've got to get past. It's, uh, yeah, not for the faint-hearted. But this last bay that we're just doing here, so over there is Blee Wyke, uh, and this is the uh, Fox Cliff, and above there the Bleak Wyke Formation. So for you uh, people that like the uh, stratigraphy, uh, this is the uh, variability subzone, so the uh, Bifrons end somewhere underneath all those rocks, and you've got the uh, variability subzone, which is uh, Hogiers, but you don't find many of those, quite rare. And then above that is the uh, Thuer End subzone where you start finding the Gramoceros. And then if you go up even further, uh, you get things like the uh, uh, real rarities like Hamatoceros, uh, uh, Mucrodactylites or Kalina, uh, and all sorts of other wonderful things that do come out from time to time. If you're very lucky, you may find one. Uh, so. Yeah, I'd be happy with a nice, uh, I think, uh, Gramoceros block with uh, some uh, Pseudoleoceros bulbiense in it, because I've not got one of those yet. I'd be happy with a hog here, definitely. Um, but you've got to keep on looking, it's not easy to find them. So yeah, uh, I'll start looking through this base, see if there's anything in these rocks. And if I find out, I'll get back to you. When you find a rare ammonite, you should never hit it any more than you actually have to. So, yeah, interesting. There's another there, but that's worn. So it's really finely ribbed. So look Two at on the, top of each other, but the others. So look at the ribbing on it. Really finely ribbed. Don't know. That's a rippled keel. Yeah, it's it's like it's not a phylo because it's not wide enough. Don't think it's a hog here because it's too finely ribbed, so I'm not sure what it is actually. Whatever it is, well done. I right, picked a few more up, tide's coming in now, not long on the beach. But, uh, yeah, just picked this lovely, whee, lovely double up, look at that. That one goes all the way around. And then there's another little one just there. How lovely is that? 
what else did we get uh, a bit worn on that side but might prep up okay from there another little back in there so yeah I'm, I'm really happy with those fatties a couple of nice catacolosaurus today oh someone had left this on a rock because it didn't really look like it had a, a center in it it's got a bit missing there and yeah it looked like the center was blown so i thought you know what i'll give it a tap anyway and oh uh, look at that <laughs> almost perfect bit of damage on there but take that little rock off and yeah that's a pretty decent uh, ammonite, nice dactylioceros, decent size. Yeah, not bad at all.